Prior to unpacking and setting up your RTD, inspect the pallet and contents for any damage. To set up your RTD, you will need a 7 16th wrench, a 7 16th socket, a quarter inch flat head screwdriver, and a small level. Carefully remove the plastic, shrink wrap, and protective foam from the pallet. Remove the boxes from the pallet and set them aside. Next, remove the 7 16th lag bolts used to secure the RTD and the seat base to the pallet. With some extra help, carefully remove the RTD and the seat base from the pallet. If needed, use hardwood dollies to move the RTD. Remove the tape used to secure the computer door. Next, remove the bubble wrap and the computer from the computer cabinet. Then check all the connections on the back of the computer to ensure they are still connected. And then put the computer back into the cabinet. Remove the hood and inspect the connections and components to ensure they are connected and not loose. Next, we need to install the visual LCD. First, insert the provided 6mm screws into the TV mounting plate, and then install the spacers on the front side of the plate. Carefully lift the visual display LCD to the TV mounting plate and attach the screws to the back of the LCD. Next, plug in the visual display LCD power and the HDMI cable to HDMI 1 on the back of the visual LCD. Level your RTD by adjusting the four leveling mounts with a 7 16th wrench. Next, level the seat base while ensuring it is the same height as the RTD base. Slide the seat base into the RTD base while aligning the pins and then latch the two draw latches to lock the seat base and the RTD base together. If your RTD has the optional cockpit enclosure, refer to the video on the Frasca Support Center. Next, install the switch panel, engine control panel, and the instrument panel by carefully aligning the guide pins and then push and turn the quarter turn fasteners clockwise. Your RTD panels may differ from the ones shown in this video. Connect your RTD to a 120 volt AC power source. Next, open the computer door and press the power button on the front of the computer to power up your RTD. Congratulations, you set up your new RTD and it is now ready for normal operation. Go to the Frasca Support Center at support.frasca.com and create an account to learn how to connect to the iOS and operate your new RTD. The Frasca Support Center also provides a valuable source for troubleshooting, maintenance, and the RTD support forum.